Hi there, Joka here from A Pocket Full of Happiness and in this video I'm sharing these two simple cards that I've created with the new That Summer Feeling uh, die set. You can see the die set here. And um, I'm going to show you two ways to use this circle uh, with the stripes. Um, very simple. Again, the cards are very simple. Um, so I'm... Um, First of all, one of them I'm going to use the outline die for as well. Uh, you can obviously create um, just simple circles with that one or use it as an outline for um, the stripes and then you get a full shape here, um, if that makes sense. And with that, you can add an extra layer to your card or like I'm going to do on the second card, um, I'm cutting this circle into the uh, front panel and by the way I'm using a relatively new plate uh, for this so that my um, paper doesn't get all kinds of imprints in it and uh, so these ba these are basically the um, two ideas I had with the uh, die and the one of them I'm uh, gluing down on a scratch um, piece of cardstock and then I'm going to fill these stripes with sort of rainbow colors basically from purples to pinks and yellows and greens and um, blues whatever I had next to me to be honest and then um, the way I went about this I did not die cut this circle as many times I think it's eight stripes um, and before I forget, so you see that I messed up that die cut there. I, um, I'm missing a piece, but because I'm going to add that uh, palm tree exactly there, I'm not going to be bothered and die cut it again. So um, the way I go about these kind of dies is that I'm filling um, with a strip of uh, colored uh, cardstock. I'm filling every other stripe and then I die cut. So basically I just have to run through uh, the dye two times uh, to get all the colors but if you want to mass produce this then obviously you can die cut um, the circle from every single color and then you have as many um, circles you know with all the colorful stripes um, then you have this small sentiment um, die well they are separate letters with the die set that says mahalo and actually I realized that you can also um, put together aloha from this. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't realize that before. And I am gluing down each letter on a piece of cardstock and then adding a layer of um, different color cardstock for the letters. Now, this, uh, this is an old embossing folder from Fun Stamper's Journey. It is not available anymore, or at least not at Spellbinders. I don't know, maybe if, if you like it, maybe you can look around on the internet. Who knows what shop might still have it, but it's, it's, it's old. Uh, but I thought it goes uh, well with, the, with this Hawaiian team, uh, theme, sorry, <laughs> not team. Um, and also with summer uh, themes, you know, it just, it's waves and fun and, <laughs> you know, I think it's actually called wind and waves or, or something like that, something with wind and waves. Um, as you can see, I die cut the palm tree from um, white cardstock, actually it's two layers I glued together and then I added some foam tape for dimension and then I'm hiding um, that messed up part on the circle. And the only other thing I'm going to do is add the sentiment and as you can see I'm fussy cutting out these small letters. It's It doesn't take long and it's really not difficult to do even though I, I have big thing, well, hands as you can see. So even I can do this. And I did not add foam dots behind the uh, letters, but you can do that if you want more dimension. And I also didn't add enamel dots, which is weird. I only realizing that now. <laughs> I probably could have just for some extra texture. So I was playing around with the um, sentiment a bit there because I didn't know what I wanted to do with it but then in the end I just decided um, to go with this 
super simple um, placement at the bottom. And then this card is practically done. I rushed through how I created the letters. Basically, I glued, uh, so I die cut them first from white cardstock. I glued that down on um, a piece of paper. And then I also die cut uh, the whole um, sentiment from uh, craft cardstock. And then I'm also, I am also used, um, not also, only used the inside pieces of the letters and added that on top of the white. And I'm going to, as far as I remember, I did the same thing for this card, but then the other uh, way around with the colors, I think, but let's see. So uh, this is a surfboard uh, that I actually, okay, so I've always been a Hawaii fan. I've never been there, but it is, it has been the number one on my bucket list for ever since, well, ever since I remember. And when I was at design school, um, I actually had to create a Hawaiian uh, surf magazine cover. And this, these were some of the elements that I used, uh, the surfboard with the hibiscus flower and uh, the little aloha. Um, so I, you know, <laughs> when it's summer, when it's heat wave, when it's really hot, I'm always thinking about Hawaii. <laughs> so that's why we have these um, dyes right now. So you can add different colors for... Uh, in the surfboard, you can even uh, go as far as to create a rainbow striped um, bottom for your surfboard, which is actually what I wanted to do first. But then I thought that maybe is a step too far when I was in <laughs> such a rush. So, uh, but yeah, you could do that. And then I only used blue stripes here, so I did not even... Um, bother with different colors but I wanted uh, the surfboards to be the um, focal point if that makes sense and so I just created three and I used the three colors the, the craft a light blue and white there and added some more color with the flowers and then as you can see the main sentiment mahalo is the same as on the previous card um, just as I mentioned, the colors are inverted. And basically, this is like a two-for-one um, type of thing uh, with the letters because you die cut them once and you get two different looks for that if you so choose. Um, now I'm adding a few pieces of foam tape to my middle surfboard just so that I have a little bit of dimension. And then I'm going to glue down uh, my flowers and yeah I mean if I had had more time unfortunately we are uh, preparing to go on holiday and so there's a lot to take care of before so I probably would have um, created cards fully covered with hibiscus flowers because they are so cute and I you know that I like building patterns with smaller dies like that okay so here are my two simple cards um for uh or with this die set i hope you like them anyway i hope you have many many ideas with them and i hope you give them a try thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you next time bye bye